Hello and uh, welcome. This is my video. My name is Ray with RME Productions and today's video is about the built-in blog editor for the Flock browser. Uh, as you can see I have the Flock browser open here on my desktop. To get into the uh, blog editor we just click on the little feather icon here and that's going to bring it up here. One of the things that I like about the Flock blog editor is it allows you to post to multiple blogging platforms from one interface. Um, some of the accounts that um, it works with is blogger.com, wordpress.com, typepad.com, livejournal.com, zanga.com, and I believe a, um, a blogging platform called blogsum.com uh, as well. So here's the interface. Uh, it reminds me a lot of like Microsoft Word or any other simple word processor. We have the title of our blog would go here. Um, just a few minimal uh, fonts to select from. I believe these are true type fonts, but to not being a font expert, I don't know, but those are probably uh, there for a reason. We also have uh, a few different font sizes to select from as well. Uh, the basic uh, bold and underline and italic uh, symbols to use. We have a color schematic here that we can, a uh, color scheme, sorry, <laughs> that we can use. So basically we just, uh, you know, type something up. If I can spell something, <laughs> something here. And then just highlight it, we can, you know, bold, italics, and underline it. We can also, again, use the color scheme and, and change the, the font color. There you go. We can also, you know, add a number list, bullet lists as well. We can do a left and right indent, and a uh, little link icon here. We can input a link, so you know, be like your domain here. You can also remove the formatting by simply hitting the unlink button. And uh, the cool thing is, you can actually also add an image into your blog post one of two ways. You can click on the image icon here. Um, and then just put in the URL address of where the image is at. And then, of course, give it a title and an alternate text and a couple of options for alignment. Or you can simply um, find the image online and drag and drop it into the blog editor. Simply, <clears throat> what I do is hold down the left mouse button over the image, use the uh, keyboard alt tabs to get back into the blog editor that will bring the image over and then just let go of the mouse button and there you go. Now of course you can resize the image by simply left click it once. You'll notice the, uh, the little squares that appear around the border of the picture. You can use either one to resize the image any way you want. Just by uh, left clicking and drag and drop. Simple as that. Um, you can also get uh, to the source of the blog post so if you're somebody who likes to you know, manipulate the HTML code, you can do that here. There's also the little preview tab here as well to kind of get an idea as to how, how it will look on your blog once it's been uploaded. We can create a new blog post. We can sa uh, open a saved blog post. We can save it. What is it? See? Save draft. It's open. Now we'll go ahead and we'll open a previously saved draft. And we got a couple of test ones here. So here's the, a test one that I, I created for the, the video. Anytime, anytime you open up a, uh, a saved post, it will open it up in a new window. So there you go. Um, pretty much it. Uh, again, it's a very simple tool. It's a very uh, it's a tool that brings convenience and ease of use into your workflow every day. So if you're someone who blogs a lot and you're tired of having to go into you know with the browser and, and going to WordPress.com and, and you know deal with getting around that interface, then logging out and going to blogger.com and, and logging in and doing all that. Just use the flock blog editor. Write your post once and then publish it to as many different blog accounts as you have with just a few clicks of the button. So that's it. Hope you guys like it and take care.